So I totally lied and said my last video was my last one for 2022, but here we are. Two sketchbooks. Kind of. By the way, I'm Spicy Shark, furry artist. Uh, also, one of the reasons why I just was like, you know what, let's just do a sketchbook tour right now is because I'm like, this is 2021. Late 2021, albeit, but and this is 2022, so I was like, let's just do a 2022 one. So this is a Global Arts Material Handbook Co. So it's watercolor paper, and one of the main reasons why I didn't finish it is because it's kind of giant, and I don't have very big brushes, so filling up a page was kind of intense, and it just took too long. It's, it's a beautiful book. I had a size of this before. I actually have a video of it, but I don't know. It's just not working for me at the moment, and so... Oh, I might come back to it. It, it would probably be great for just doing some, like, thumbnail things. This is a much nicer size, in my opinion, for me. December, first page, made with Posca. Posca pens. Gouache, did a little mushroom study. I look up a lot of references on Unsplash, I believe. I'm covering this one because it's an idea I still haven't fleshed out that I really want to do as a full illustration. More Posca. This is a lot of gouache. Posca, gouache. It's January 24th, so there's a lot of winter vibes. I turned this one into a sticker. Actually, I made it into a canvas print and then I made it into a sticker. This plant, wow, it was not doing so well in January. It's doing much better right now. I repotted it. And, ooh, there it is in all its glory. I really like the colors of these. Um, purple and yellow, they're complementary colors, but I have a hard time making them work together. But I feel like I did pretty good on this one. I think this is one of my favorite pages. Uh, there's some primroses that were coming out when I went to a coast trip. I thought that was really pretty. I'm pretty happy with how this gouache mushroom turned out. This guy's just fun. Some more coast journal pics. Found a really big mushroom under the house we were staying at. Non-binary deer. I like how this one turned out. I actually did this, I think this, so this is watercolor, but the pink, purple, and gray, <clears throat> sorry, are Tombow markers. Some gouache of a hike I did last year. And tulips. I love tulip season, so I always try to add it as far as like a journal. This was based on a hike. I went with a friend to a cool wild flower field, May 11th. Um, oh, and another, another plant I bought is doing much better now as well. And that was it for that. So now we have this little guy. Exact same sketchbook, just in the smaller thing. So it started in late July. Wanted to start off with... Actually, let's zoom in closer. I wanted to try, start off with something that resembled the time. So we ha were having sunflowers that are starting to grow. Um... I'm trying to remember the name of the challenge. It's like Bird August. It's more clever than that. Avian August. I did a few with Posca pens. Our blueberries are coming out, so I did a little watercolor version of this. ZZ plant. Little possum. Um, photo of a lake that we went to visit with some friends. Made in gouache. Watercolor. I'm pretty proud of this one because I freehanded the lines and then went over it in color. I'm pretty happy with how it looks. It turned out. I do like the more stylistic vibe. Some more Posca pens. <clears throat> this is my ZZ plant again. Watermelon plant. So it's exciting stuff. A telephone booth I found in the woods. It was by someone's house. 
October, trying to get into the October vibe. Then at this point, I kind of ditched the sketchbook. Copic on toned paper. And then watercolor. Tried freehanding again. This is just a view from our living room. And it was autumn, getting more autumn-y at this point, so this is based on a couple of photos, just encompassing of the look. Starting to get into November, the last sunflowers we had, a chicken we have. And then there was this long break, I think this is November, and then this is like mid to late December. This is based on our drive to Portland, it was just super cold, blue, but... I really like monochromatic blue color palettes as well. Possum, cartoon possum, deer, another plant that was gifted. Nothing here. This is the last page. Feeling blue. <laughs> December 28. Feeling better now. But yeah, so I just uh, still got quite a bit more in this as well, but hoping to finish it up shortly and maybe have another tour. Um, I don't really post my sketchbook pics as much online anymore, but I do post them on Patreon every once in a while. I, I still do sketchbook tours when I get the chance. And yeah, just for reference, these weren't the only two sketchbook tours, I mean, the, the only two sketchbooks I used. This guy's like, honestly, my my big brainstorm book. So this is where I put a lot of my thumbnails for bigger paintings and then just little like journal doodles. I'm hoping to add more journal doodles to this one just so it feels more alive. I want to focus more on, I guess, expression and action over just being aesthetically pleasing and trying to just avoid being a perfectionist. But yeah. Anyway, see you guys in 2023. Bye.